Hello there you guys, welcome to one of my videos. Going to be giving you my predicted 11 for Manchester United's game against Leeds United at Elland Road. So I'm going to go with the 4-2-3-1 formation. In goal, David De Gea. David De Gea was in goal. On Wednesday night against Leeds at Old Trafford. He casually handled Pascal Strike's chance. And De Gea was casual in Varane's own goal. And he was beaten at his near post by Wilfred Nonto. After just 55 seconds. Right back. Uh, Diego Dallo, um, He will retain his place at right back. By the way. Eric Tenag says. Anwan Bissaka. Could come back from illness in time for the game tomorrow. But Delore will start this game because Delore is Man United's first choice right back. He's been our first choice right back for a while. Uh, we played on Wednesday night against Leeds at Old Trafford. It was Delore's first game from injury. And he did all right. You know, he put some good crosses into the box. He got the assist for Marcus Rashford's goal. But I thought his passing at times was quite poor. The two centre-halves, Rafael Varane and Lisandro Martinez. Uh, Varane was unfortunate to score that own goal on Wednesday night. And Varane uh, did have a good chance in the game. So he was unlucky not to score. Not so long ago, Varane announced his retirement from international football. <laughs> uh, Lisandro Martinez. You know, on Wednesday night, did all right. He committed a bad challenge, was it, on Bamford. Uh, Martinez. So far has one goal for Manchester United that came in the 3-2 defeat to Arsenal at the Emirates. Left back, Luke Shaw. I thought Luke Shaw played well on Wednesday night. You know, he kept the ball well, got into some good positions. You know, Luke Shaw is still Man United's first choice left back, despite Man United getting Malassia in last year. The two centre midfielders, Fred and Sabitza. As you all know, Casemiro is suspended. He's now got two games to serve. Uh, don't forget, Casemiro got sent off in the game against Crystal Palace at Old Trafford. He got sent off for grabbing Will Hughes by the throat. He was a big miss on Wednesday night. Uh, there's no Christian Eriksen. As you all know, he's out with an ankle injury until April or early May. But Tommy is still injured. So there you go. Fred. Of course he played on Wednesday night. Uh, Marcel Sabitzer made his full debut for Man United against Leeds at Old Trafford. He had 
around three chances. He had one on target. Man United have got Marcel Sabitzer on loan until the end of the season. There's no option or obligation to buy. Like I said, the reason we got Sabitzer on loan was because of Christine Eriksen's injury blow. Um, the attacking midfielder, Bruno Fernandes. Fernandes, of course, played on Wednesday night. On the left wing, Marcus Rashford. Uh, Rashford <clears throat> was out of position on Wednesday night. He was playing on the right wing. He shouldn't have been on the right wing. He should have been on the left wing because he's far superior on the left than he is on the right. Don't forget Rashford can play up top as well. But I think he'll be on the left-hand side in the game tomorrow. Uh, Rashford scored a very good header on Wednesday night. That was his 20th goal in all competitions this season. Marcus Rashford, of course, got named Premier League Player of the Month for January not so long ago. And Rashford was recently fined. £574 and handed six points on his licence for speeding in his 670,000 Mercedes. So yeah, Rashford will come in for Garnacho on that left-hand side. It was obviously Garnacho on the left on Wednesday night. Uh, Garnacho... He had some uh, good chances on Wednesday night. You know, his first chance went just wide. Should have hit the target at least. And he had that chance where he went round Melule. Um, he hit it. Obviously hit the head of Maximilian Wobber. On the right wing, I'm going to go with Jaden Sancho. So, yeah, he'll come in for Rashford on the right. Uh, Anthony, he's not available, so he won't be playing any part. Elanga's an option on the win as well, but he won't start. A lot of United fans are saying that Jadon Sancho should have started on Wednesday night because of Anthony's injury. But Sancho did come on. And rescue a point for Man United. He scored the equaliser on his Premier League return after nearly four months out. Eric Tenard did say he was proud of Jadon Sancho for scoring against Leeds. And up top, <clears throat> I'm going to go with Wout Weghorst. Uh, Martial He's not available for this game. Weghorst, of course, played on Wednesday night. Weghorst has only scored, what, one goal in his last seven games for Man United. Weghorst scored that goal in the Carabao Cup semi-final first leg against Nottingham Forest. But we have got him on loan until the end of the season. So that's how I think Manchester United will line up tomorrow against Leeds. This will be the second time Man United will be playing Leeds in four days. You know, Man United, of course, drew 2-2 with Leeds on Wednesday night. You know, Man United missed out on the chance <clears throat> to go level on points with Man City. But, you know, Man United came from two goals down to rescue a point. You know, I, I was expecting Man United to beat Leeds, <clears throat> you know, going into that game. 
we had 13 straight home wins. <coughs> Um, Leeds, as you all know, are looking for a new manager. I'm sceptical they'll have a new manager by tomorrow. Uh, Leeds have made an approach for Arnie Slot from Feyenoord. They also made an approach for Andona Iriola. He's a Rayo Vallecano manager. Leeds won't be getting him because Rayo Vallecano have blocked Leeds' move. <clears throat> Last Monday, uh, Leeds United announced that they'd sacked Jesse Marsh after less than a year in charge. Uh, he got sacked <clears throat> because of Leeds' 1-0 defeat to Nottingham Forest last weekend. And obviously he had a lot of Leeds United fans in that ground protesting against the manager. And Leeds' <clears throat> overall bad run of form. You know, Leeds have only won one of their last 11 in the league. The last time they won in the league was against Bournemouth for three. I think Leeds are now, what, 16th in the Premier League, one point above relegation. But uh, revert back to Jesse Marsh, you know... He didn't even last a full season at Leeds. He was under contract with Leeds until 2025. Leeds appointed Jesse Marsh in, in February last year. Before Jesse Marsh managed the likes of RB Leipzig, he was also the assistant coach at RB Leipzig. Before managed Red Bull Salzburg, New York Red Bulls and Montreal. And Jesse Marsh has won trophies before. Uh, last season, Leeds, of course, sat Marcelo Bielsa. You know, there was enjoying a very bad spell under him. That's one of the main reasons he sat him. Plus, he didn't really have a plan B. <clears throat> didn't really know how to change a game. But Bielsa, in my opinion, was far better than Jesse Marsh because Bielsa, don't forget, got Leeds up to the Premier League and he won the Championship with Leeds and that was Leeds' first trophy in 28 years. And he got Leeds a ninth place finish in his first season in the Premier League. Don't forget, Leeds got relegated back in 2004, so they were out of the top flight for 16 years. They came back up to the Premier League back in 2020. <clears throat> By the way, I'm hearing the 49ers could be taking over Leeds United. The players Leeds have got, you know, they've got Rodrigo. Now, he was a big miss for Leeds on Wednesday night. You know, he's out with injury. Don't think he'll be playing in the game tomorrow. Leeds got Rodrigo from Valencia. <coughs> Patrick Bamford, he's a good player, he can score goals, you know, he did get the assist for Wilfred Nonto's goal on Wednesday night, but Leeds fans have reservations about Bamford because he's injury prone, Leeds got Bamford for Middlesbrough in a deal worth £10 million with add-ons included. Somerville, <coughs> He's a good young player. He's in the Leeds first team now, before he was in the under-23s. Don't forget, some of who played a part in the Ranzone goal on Wednesday night. Sam Greenwood looks a good young player. Rutter's made an impact. Maxi Milan Warbur is a very good defender. I thought he defended really well on Wednesday night. Don't forget, he made that imperative Headed clearance to deny Ganacho. Uh, Wilfred Nonto, very good young player. <clears throat> you know, he scored on Wednesday night. I think that was his second goal in the Premier League this season. Uh, Weston, Weston McKenney, Leeds signed him on loan from Juventus. 
Leeds to have the option to buy him for 30 million. Uh, Diego Montiero, Leeds got him not so long ago. You know, he's an academy player at the moment, but he'll work his way into the first team. Leeds got him from server. Luis Sinistera, what a player he's been. <clears throat> he's injured at the moment. He went off injured in the first half on Wednesday night. Brendan Aronson, um, he hit the post on Wednesday night from a free kick, so I was unlucky not to score. Tyler Adams, he was out of injury not so long ago. Liam Cooper, very poor player. Vast majority of Leeds fans don't think he's good enough. His crossing's very poor, and that's one of the main reasons he's not consistent enough. Uh, Liam Cooper's been out with a knock. <coughs> Jack Harrison, Leeds got him from Manchester City. Christiansen, Adam Farshaw, he's injured at the moment. Pascal Strike. He came off injured in the first half on Wednesday night. Robin Cock. I think he played on Wednesday night, but didn't play any part against Forest last weekend because he was suspended. Stuart Dallas, he's injured at the moment and he's a key player for Leeds. Didn't play any part on Wednesday night because of injury. Uh, Luke Ayling, good defender. A lot of the time, Leeds play him at right back. Leeds' number one goalkeeper is Mayale. Um, To his credit, he made some very good saves on Wednesday night. The second choice goalkeeper is Joel Robles. And the third choice goalkeeper is Christopher Klassen. So there are a lot of the players that Leeds do have. Let me put into the equation that they've lost players not so long ago. The loan Joe Geldow out to Sunderland. Good young player. Leeds got Joe Geldow from Wigan. The loan Daniel James out to Fulham. Leeds did get him from Man United for £25 million. The loan Diego Lorente out to Roma. Last year, Leeds let Matthias Click go. Leeds made the right decision doing that, though, because Click lost his place in the team. <clears throat> A few years ago, Leeds let Alioski go. And, of course, they let Calvin Phillips and Rafinha go. Leeds got, what, £80 million for Calvin Phillips and Rafinha. And to Leeds' credit, you know, they found them adequate replacements for Phillips and Rafinha. You know, they spent around £80 million when they had Jesse Marsh. But Phillips left Leeds to go to City. Uh, Phillips is not first choice at City. Obviously, he's a backup. But obviously, Phillips, he's on a lot more money at City than he was at Leeds. Because obviously, Leeds don't have the resources like Man City. And obviously, Rafinha left Leeds to go to Barcelona. And let me put into the equation that Man United have done transfer business with Leeds before. A lot of years ago, got Eric Cantona off them for just £1 million. Got Rio Ferdinand off them for £30 million. Good defender at Leeds, Ferdinand. He was also a good defender at United. And a lot of years ago, Alan Smith left Leeds to come to Man United. So there you go. But um, like I say... Manchester United and Leeds is a huge rivalry. The rivalry has been going on for absolute centuries. You know, it stems from the War of the Roses. That is the main reason Manchester United and Leeds United are rivals. Uh, the last time Leeds beat Man United at Ellen Road, was it back in the 2002-03 season? It was 1-0 Harry Kuehl score. Man United won this fixture at Ellen Road last season. For two. But you know, Tenag 
we'll be hoping Manchester United can bounce back from Wednesday night. Because don't forget, after the game, Eric Tenard criticised Man United's unacceptable start. You know, we started the first half very poor Wednesday night. We started the second half very poor as well. But anyway, guys, that's everything to update you with. Drop your comments, likes below on the channel if you do. Consider subscribe as always and take care. God bless. See you all again very soon.